Hello everyone, my name is AppleGuy, and welcome back to the episode of Let's Play Paper Mario. In the previous video, we climbed up Shiver Mountain, and now we get to enter the Crystal Palace here, where the final star spirit is resting. Just up this way and through these gates. Here we go. So as you can see, the entire palace is mirrored. When we go through this door, we can see ourselves going uh, very, very strange, but it is what it is. You can see there's a X mark here. Let's see, can we pound into that? Does not look so, so let's continue on the rightward path. Ah, an enemy! This appears to be a set of flying enemies, which is just not the move right now. I'm not really equipped for a uh, flying battle, so I won't uh, partake. But I appreciate the invite. We go in here, we can open up this chest containing a blue key. It's a big blue key, which is the best kind of blue key. Who would want a small key when you can have a large key? Large keys tend to open large doors, and large doors are important. Let's remember that X mark. It seems important. Alright, let's continue to the right now. And there is a button here. And we can press it. And it will lower down the red door and reveal the blue door. So now we can, of course, use the blue door on the... Or the blue key on the blue door. You don't use a door on a key, you use the key on the door. Moving on. Right, so we can continue forth now. And uh, there's a crack in the wall, so we will need to utilize Bombette for a minute. Perfect. As you can see, it opened the crack on one side, but not in the other. So it appears that if we see something on one side, it might not directly be a mirror of the other. For example, we legitimately cannot see ourselves right now. But we can hit this block for coins. And uh, now we're out. So as you can see, there's uh, there's some weird things going on. And we can pass through right here. Turns out it wasn't a mirror this whole time. It was an actual second room. That's great because now we have access to the whole other side. Let's use Bombette one more time to get through. Awesome. Uh, yikes, Mario's here. Whoa, we better beat him. And it's the Dupla Ghosts again. That's cool. So obviously it would have been nice to have um, a Cooper out for this fight, but I didn't really... Th Ooh, that was just not the jump I wanted to do. That's fine. We have plenty of FP to do a power bomb attack. Actually, I probably could have done the Mega Bomb too. That's 10 damage for, for a single turn, ain't bad. Except now we will get Dupla Ghosted. Thank you. <laughs> Ooh, that's like the funniest animation or the funniest sound ever. Let me get a power bounce on Bombet. Right, we do want to shut this down as quickly as we can. Of course, Bombet is a powerful ally, and we do need to make it so we don't get our her abilities used against us. That would be pretty terrible. Honestly, I feel like this is sufficient, but I just want to keep the bounce going as long. I'm gonna stop the bounce. Yeah, that was plenty. I could have kept going, but I felt like that was excessive. So, you know. <laughs> Sometimes you can keep a power bounce chain going for a long- see, we only needed five more damage. Honestly, I could have done it with a regular jump, but whatevs. Perfect. No, the real Mario is so strong. And I will woo, see you later. Okay. Let's go through the blue door again on the opposite side this time. And we can enter this door. Previously, this door was uh, what we thought. To be oh, I need to toss a potato. Oh, let's see. Let's get rid of the bubbleberry. It's from Flower Field, so it's not like incredibly valuable as far as items go. And um, you know, I don't feel bad about getting rid of it. Um, what do I want to do? Is a star storm a good idea? Yeah, I'm gonna use a star storm. <laughs> Is it excessive? Yes. Might I level up from this fight? Yes. It's possible I get a level up off this. I'm not actually sure. I think we're like 29-ish points away, so entirely possible we don't, um, but you know. I will then just do a standard shell toss, trying to save a little bit of FP for some reason. Uh, not at all necessary. Oh gosh, it's these clowns. They heal themselves. My A button's gonna get a workout today! Ah, there we go. Honestly, the A button can could use a workout. Okay, so this is a good time for a multi-bounce. There we go, there we go, there we go. Wasn't a- oh, we're definitely not leveling up from this fight. Not one bit. There we go. 
Good use of FP. We're getting closer to a level up. You know, we're 17 away now, so next fight, maybe. We get some some coins and stuff, which is good, because there is a badge we are slightly after. We can also use this now. We can break through this to enter the lower floor. Let's head back up first, though, and see what's going on through this door. Uh, aha! Hello, Duplighost. Hello, Duplighost. I'm, a. Uh, eh, I was just trying to squeeze by him. Whatevs. Okay. This looks like the perfect time to use a Power Quake into a very, very powerful Cooper move. Cooper, what move are you going to use? Dizzy Shell or f Power Shell? Uh, we'll use Fire Shell just because it is a fire move and it might be a little extra powerful. I'm not actually sure. Oh, it didn't clear everybody out. That's no good. We get a Cooper duplicate. We get a guy launching himself at me. And a powerful Cooper! That's actually very, very scary. Let's do another Power Quake. Seems to do good enough damage. I'll come back and, and do another... Uh... Okay, we took out those two guys then. And this last one, honestly, I could probably have just done a no charge, but we'll hit him for the five. And that's not quite a level up, but almost. So we can use the rest of our FP in another fight. All right, awesome. Continuing rightward, we have another door. And it's a shooting star, which I will not take. Yeah, I won't take it. I like my ice potato too much. Obviously, you could throw away the ice potato, but it's pretty neat. I mean, why would you toss away a potato? It's pretty neat. I've made that joke like three episodes in a row now, or three out of the last four, and I still don't know if it's funny. <laughs> oh boy, a chest containing... A D down, D up badge. Defense, attack power is decreased by one and attack power, my apologies. Attack power goes down by one and defense power goes up by one. So you basically do a little bit of a sacrifice uh, from your damage to gain some, uh, some strength. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a badge that's available. Hold on, let me see. What happens if I hit this over here? I can't trap myself, right? No, I can't. There's no way that I would let that happen. Okay, well, uh, huh. That is definitely floating, like, way too far off. That looks like a misplaced, uh, asset, really. Uh, it just looks like the lock is floating really far from the key. Um, anyway, well, we'll progress forward now. Uh, or should we progress backwards, actually? I don't even think we went further back. Let's go backwards, just to see what's going on. We can go onto this side now and through this door and we get a star piece. Awesome. Yeah, so it's a very trippy location in all honesty. It'd be nice if you could uh, break a way through here um, after you like discover it. You shouldn't have to go all the way to the end room to do it again, but you know, whatevs. Oh, when I was, actually, well, never mind. I was gonna say when I was outside, I should have healed, but I didn't go all the way outside. So I couldn't heal if I wanted to. Now I could. But is it worth it? I mean, I have 10 FP, and no enemies in this area are really too strong, so I should be fine. Let's move through this door again. Alright, and we have our X mark that is now gone. We can hop down here and follow Cooper, who is apparently very happy to jump down here, uh, because he did it by himself before I even got the chance. Alrighty, and now we can bomb at wall here. And... Huh. What? Who are all of you? You're trying to look like me! Mario, don't tell me you can't tell which one is the real Bombette. You can tell, right? Hey, I heard that. You're spreading lies, you imposter. I'm the real Bombette. Oh, no, no, no. Mario, look carefully at me and you'll know. I'm the real Bombette. It can only be me. These others are all liars. I'm the one. Mario, me. Don't fall for these tricks. I'll blow you up if you do. I, I'm the real Bombette. But please, trust your eyes and look at me. I, I'm not lying. No! It can't hear- I can't bear this! Mario, smash the pause with your hammer! All of you pretending to be me, I can't take it another second! Oh, that's a nice idea. That'll clear all this up. Yes, good idea. I just hate imposters. Mario, I'm the real one, so you dare hit me! Okay, well, this one's actually kind of scary. What? Why did you hit me? Because you're a Duplighost. Blast! You found me! What's wrong with my disguise? I believe you're also a fake Bombette. Oh, somehow you managed to see through my disguise. 
Darn it. I thought I was doing so well. And you're also a fake? Oh, you must be very smart to figure out I was an imposter. Oh, I, I skipped his text. I'm sorry. These two are actually a little tough. The This is terrible. It's, it's so clear that I'm the real Bombette. Mario, I'm Bombette. I'm not ever going to forgive you if you mess this up. I'm sorry. No, no, I, I should have worked harder on my Bombette disguise. I, I won't forget this. If you'd hit me with that hammer, Mario, I was going to bomb you next time you nap. But you didn't, so I'm happy you knew that I was a real Bombette. Yeah, that was a that was a tough one. <laughs> that was a tough one. All right, let's open this up for a good old fashioned red key, a big red key, better than a small red key. You know what's funny? Um, every time they have those like imposter segments on on real TV shows, and it's always like, "I'm the real one," you know it, and they're like, "When's my birthday?" And then the other person. They did it on Spongebob, or something, it might not have been the birthday, but, um, Spongebob is like, if we're making Krabby Patties on the sixth day and it happens to be a Tuesday of May, you know, what happens? And then Plankton guessed it properly and Mr. Krabs got hit with the tartar sauce. That was funny. Um, but, you know. Okay, so as you can see, who are you? The great King Honorable Kushtal King said I can't let anyone pass. You're up to no good. I'm going to have to hurt you. There's a stone brick uh, version of him on the other side. Okay, so let's start with a star storm. We do not have much FP. I should have healed before I came into this room, but like YOLO, and um, we're just gonna wing it. So, you know, let's get seven damage out there on the board, and we'll follow it up with a fire spin. I could dizzy shell. I'm gonna dizzy shell. Oh gosh, I'm gonna Dizzy Shell. Oh, let's go. That was actually a really good Dizzy Shell. 100%. Okay, and then I'm going to Power Bounce this first guy. Uh, take him out, hopefully, with my incredible Power Bounce chains. And um, we can move on. Yep, perfect. And then all that's left is the uh, Magikoopa, which we should be able to take out just with standard attacks. Played that very well. And that's seven star points for our, our level up. Awesome. And I'll be putting that level up into... BP has reached max. We can't upgrade it anymore. Let's go to FP then. That's awesome. I'm glad we reached max BP. My health is still atrociously low, but like, you know, we'll, we'll figure it out. I won't let you. I won't and I can't. I won't and you can't. You'll have to go through me if you want to get past. Yeah, did you see, did you see what I did to the other guy? You should have seen the other guy. For real though, you should have seen the other guy. Like I got him. Okay, four damage there. Um, I'll do a fire shell. Oh my gosh, there we go. Yeah, eight damage, so good. Take those two guys out in the front. Take care, Magikoopa. I'll see you some other time. Thanks for running. Honestly, makes my my whole experience much much easier. All right, I can't believe we actually max BP. Hey, didn't you hear me? I said I'm not budging. You got that? Do you have any idea how mad the Crystal King will get if I let you pass here? I don't want him mad at me, so I have to teach you a lesson. Once again, two, two other previous guys. And you know what sucks? Is you're literally going for the same attack strategy every time. Like, you're all perfectly lined up, and I can just come in and combo you guys with my, my abilities, and you're just done. You know? There's like just nothing you can do. Like, put some armor on or something, you know? Bye, Magikoopa. Don't know why she pieces the scene every time, but, you know, I'll take it. And that's cool. Of course, now we've reached a dead end, but that is an intentional dead- What happened? Oh, you can't drop down. That's an intentional dead end, basically. Because now we can walk through the other side. We actually walk through onto both sides. Well, let me get through first. Yeah, we can walk through on the other side and cross the bridge to the actual door. Perfect. We can continue to progress now down the road and into here. Where we actually have this uh, big hit, which spins the uh, the thing around. So what we can do is pretty neat. We can actually use... Um, we could probably use a couple of people, actually. Um, is Bombette the best choice? Bombette's definitely the best choice. Uh, I wanted to try and do it with Cooper, but Bombette is just the best choice for getting us through here. And uh, 
I'm gonna switch back. No, not Paracarry. Although Paracarry is great. Air Raid, insanely great ability. But we're gonna continue fourth now with Cooper at our side. As you can see, there is a Duplaghost on one side and uh, this guy on the other. Yeah, I just cleaned them up. I uh, just figured I'd do it off camera since we just faced the, those enemies, so you know. Alrighty, we can pass through here now. And hey, uh, hello? Hey, get get back, Shadow. Hello. Ah, oh, what a wonderful idea. Uh, Cooper. Whoa. Mario, I'm the real Cooper, but of course you know that, don't you, old boy? Yeah, you're just not even Cooper at all. Mario, look at me, I'm the real deal. Nobody else looks like Cooper. Mario, come on, I'm Cooper. I mean, this is ridiculous. I'm the real Cooper, Sonny. You don't believe me, do ya? I'm the real Cooper. This isn't any doubt in your mind, is there, brother? Okay, old bean. Okay, old bean, you must smash these imposters one by one. Oh, uh, that's a good idea. Brother, smash them all except me, okay? Yeah, this is just straight up easy. You must have some sort of sixth sense, Sonny. Grr. Remember me, I'll return. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and smash everyone who's not actually Cooper. Ouch, that hurt. Still, good job. You must have some incredibly keen eyes to spot me. Darn it. Yeah, once again, you're just not even- you guys aren't Cooper. Hmm, Mario, well done. I don't know how you did it, but you found me out. Goodbye. I don't know why they're British. I, I, I know I said that a bunch, but like... Brother, I said I was the real Cooper many times. So mean. Just joking. I definitely thought I had you going there, though. Yes, yes, good call, Mario. I knew you'd get it right. Those were the worst disguises ever. Yeah, they really were. Anyway, oh, good. We can go through here now. Awesome. Okay. And we have more doors. All the more doors on planet Earth. We can hit this for a, a maple syrup. Goodbye, potato. But the potato's so neat. But the potato's so neat. What can I toss instead of the potato? The pal block. Goodbye, pal block. I need my potato. Okay. Ah, it looks like there's an enemy on the other side we're gonna have to deal with. Also, I notice when I do this, uh, like the the ground starts to flip up, which means there's a something underneath it. Great. We can progress forward now. And uh, we actually need Cooper because we can hit it in the mirror and then we'll make it a reality on this side as well, which is super, super cool. A lot of fun uh, mirror strategies here. Now, of course, we can go to the other side and this will begin a small little detour. What's my FP looking like? Nine. Yeah, I could really use a health block, especially since I'm about to get into a fight. Uh, okay, well, looks like I'm not getting into a fight. But I can push this and drop down. That's almost like a fight. Honestly, I figured because it was a stone enemy on one side, we'd fight the real deal on the other. Oh! Uh, yeah. I, I avoided you. That's how cool I am. Dorky, dorky, dorky. P up, D down badge. Increase attack power by one. Aha! Uh -huh, so this is the exact opposite of the badge we just got. Also, that's not a dorky. The dorky must be on the other side then. Um, can I loop you again? You want to, uh, what's the easiest way for me to sneak past? Oh, just like that. Ooh, he tried to smack me. He failed, but he tried. And honestly, that's all you can do in life these days, you know? Well, I guess, ever. Try. That, that's the moral of the story. Try. Can I send Cooper through here? Doesn't give me anything. That'd be a good place for a star piece. Kind of makes sense, too. Just with the whole, like, one side on the, uh, I don't know. It makes sense. It's funny. It's not funny, but it makes sense. What is happening? What is commentary anymore? All right, we're just going to continue making our way through the Crystal Palace then. Featuring a new section on this side, right down here. And through here. And another a Dupla Ghost that I can uh, go around because I don't want to fight a Dupla Ghost. Uh, because my FP is low. Perfect. A palace key opens locked doors in the Crystal Palace, is what the description was. Which is great, because I'm in the Crystal Palace and there are lots of locked doors. So, you know, that's great. You know, I'm not running from fights, so I'm just 100% able to just dodge, you know? Also, we don't have any more FP left, but we have a ton of, like, coins. So, I guess we'll be buying, like, healing items. 
That makes sense, right? That's a good thing to buy. Healing items. Let's use the palace key on this door so we can walk through it. Aha. These look threatening. I'm going to be right back. Alright, we're back now, and uh, I just went to go hit the heal block. Uh, in all honesty... Hello? You can't go through here unless you solve the puzzle. Once you solve the puzzle, we'll let you through. Yes, they just weren't enemies at all. And uh, I just had the whole wrong impression. Anyway, when I was walking through uh, this palace again, just when I wasn't recording because I was going to go heal, I, um, I thought that this music was very, very uh, Professor Layton. Um, if that makes sense to anybody. What's the deal? Why can't I push these dudes? Can you only push them from behind? Okay. And what do I do if I want to push it from somewhere besides behind? I have to solve the puzzle. I have to solve the puzzle. Okay. Oh. Aha! Uh -huh. So these guys you can talk to from a different angle and get them to change so when you push, you can move them different ways. What a cool puzzle design. So that means I need this guy to go over here. Awesome. And then he will be in position. Just like that. And then that guy is in position. This one needs to go this way and then down. So I, will do I did not realize that there was no glass here. I um, I went back around the first time, which is kind of funny. Okay, push this over here. And we need to correct his vision to face this way. It is a little bit funny because it is a mirror image. So, you know, we want him to face away from us so that the stone statue can face towards us. And that will unlock a door and some folding out staircases. That's very kind of you. I appreciate the folded out staircase. Paper Mario doing papery things. Alrighty, well, I think that's going to end off the episode for here. Of course, every time I heal, there's always a heal block just in the next room over. But I think that's going to be all for now. Uh, so I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, please hit like and subscribe and tell your friends about this series if you think they would enjoy it. It means a lot to me. You can get my videos around. I'll catch you all back here next time for the next episode of Let's Play Paper Mario. Until then, as always, take care.